Okay guys, here we are, Structure Studios 101 in Pool Studio Blue. We're going to be talking about create presentation, videos, video mode, clips, and transitions. So this is my son's dino pool that he did that I'm very proud of. So the file was already open, so that is the reason that I'm using this in this video. So at the bottom, you got a storyboard drop-down. You're going to click New Storyboard. It's going to put you on storyboard number one. So go ahead and click that, and then set up your first clip with your first frame angle. So I want this to start here. I'm going to click New Camera Location for my number one. And I want the camera to travel this direction. So I'm going to click New Camera Location for number two. And I want it to end here for this particular clip. And I'm going to click New Camera Location. You can also uh, hit the plus key on your keyboard um, to set your new camera locations. So let's do a preview. So here's the direction of travel for my camera. So that's what these clips and transitions are going to do. So always the last frame in your first clip before you start your next clip, that's going to be where your transition is. So let's set up our frame um, number one for our clip number two, which is going to be in this location here. So if you notice that this transition went to move, so I'm going to select crossfade. It comes as a default three second. It should be two seconds. I usually always set mine in two seconds because three seconds seems to be a little bit long. So what I want, I want the sun to shine and illuminate the front of this rock. So for this particular clip that I want to show this off, I'm going to change the time of the day so that the sun is shining on the rocks, because that's what I want to show off. So now I'm going to click on my frame number one and clip number two, and set the same time of day. It's at 2.35 p.m., and I'm going to click this button here, which is update the location of your camera. So whatever you change, click that camera button, and it'll update that particular frame. So here is my second position. I'm going to click new camera location and we're going to end this for my direction of travel for my camera right here in this spot. I'm going to do this very fast. Now you can add as many clips as you want, as many frames as you want. What we're trying to eliminate is just flying around in circles. So here's a preview. Now keep in mind that in preview mode it will not show transitions for whatever reason Structure Studios just doesn't do it. You got to wait until it's rendered before you see the transition. So don't be alarmed. I'm going to set my times uh, for this particular clip here. I'm going uh, three seconds per frame, um, so I don't have that many um, that many frames. So it's going to be a 15 second video. So once you get everything where you want it, this, the link to your video, all your frames are in place. You're going to click Create Video. So we're going to click that. So once you get everything set up where you want to, click Create Video and then we are going to start the rendering process. Now this particular video, it's a 15 second video. There's two clips with three frames each and it took about eight minutes to fully uh, render this 15 second clip. We're not going to wait that long, I'm going to skip through it, um, but you can set up your videos like I said, however many clips and frames that you want, what we're trying to avoid is that constant spinning through walls and flying around, and zooming around, and you know we don't want to do that. Um, we don't want to be distracting to our to our clients during presentation. We want to focus on the elements, and we want to hit those elements and make sure that each of our frames and our clips are for the direction of travel that you want the camera to be traveling in um, per each designated clip. So like here, I, I did a whole pan on the front of the pool, and then I did a pan on the waterfall on the slide portion. Um, for the next one, I would probably do, you know, maybe a spinner on the hot tub, or I would go into the back side of the waterfall, and I would shoot that. So it's, you know, it, it's how it's however you you know, want your camera to be traveling. So here we are, we skipped all of that, and here's our final product. Here is our transition with our crossfade setup. This is our length of time for our full video. Um, and here's our final product. Again, if you're going to set, make sure that you make all of your camera adjustments before you start setting your frames. 
for your whatever your next clip is. So for instance, if I were shooting the backside of this waterfall, I would adjust the sun where it's shining on the back of the waterfall so that it would illuminate that area and it would look really nice for that particular, um, for that particular um, clip. And then we would, you know, kind of make adjustments for there. But you always have to make sure that you make your adjustments per clip that you're going to be um, shooting, you know, from whatever angle. So once we're done here, we're going to go back into our projects folder. Again, this is my son's dino pool. I was already on it, so I just this is where I'm making the video. Here's our videos, and let's look at our final product. So I'm going to double click this. It's going to open my default Windows player, and here we go. Get ready for the transition. And that three seconds is a little slow, which it, it is. It needs to be about two seconds. Sometimes I go 1.5. And you also see a strobe in the water. So when you see something like that, there's just a there's just a bug in the software. And you're just going to have to go back, unfortunately, delete this, and then click Create Video once more. And then usually it'll, it'll clear itself out. I don't know why it does it. It's just the way that it is. So be creative with your clips and frames and make sure you're showing off your elements and not just flying around in circles. So if you've got any questions, post up. Let me know what you think.